Hi everyone, I'm Danny Ackerman and welcome to episode one of a series of videos I'm making to help you understand the uh, 2012 spring seller updates from eBay. Now, lots of changes, but really nothing too horrible this time. Yay! Uh, and I'm going to help you understand what you need to do to uh, keep your top rated seller status if you already have it or earn it if you haven't quite gotten there yet or are trying to get it back. Um, there's some good things and um, there's a couple sticky points for some of you that sell in certain categories but we're going to go over those and what you need to do. Um, really important to remember the reason that eBay does these changes is to stay up with what the buyers out there are looking for. eBay has the data to know are shoppers not coming back to eBay? Are the traffic numbers down from where they should be? And comparing to other big sites out there that seem to be reaching the uh, heights of popularity and trying to figure out what they can do to bring those customers uh, back to eBay and keep them on eBay. And we don't want them to go elsewhere. We want them to come to eBay for all of their needs. So to do that, we need to get more sellers being more consistent with what the industry standards are. And eBay comes up with ways to do that by giving incentives to those sellers who are willing to make those changes and willing to meet those customer demands. The nice thing is, with eBay, you can still sell on eBay the way you want to sell on eBay. They're not kicking you off the site if you don't come up to these standards. Um, as they will do on other sites. eBay is pretty lenient and still lets you be your own boss. So those sellers who do want to be in the, the, the tops for search and get all the perks for complying with best practices do get rewarded. And that is what the top rated seller program is in a nutshell. It is a reward program for sellers who consistently meet the needs of the customer the way that they're needing to be met now in this uh, really crazy uh, e-commerce marketplace. So let's get let's get started first with going through the requirements as they are right now. And so the current requirements to be a top rated seller is that you can have no more than a half percent and too low DSRs in any one of the four categories. Those categories are item as described, communication, shipping and handling time, and shipping and handling charges. So, no more than half percent and two opened buyer claims. Now what an open case is, is cases that your buyers opened in the eBay or PayPal Resolution Center that pass checks for, for buyer abuse or fraud, meaning they are um, not from buyers who are abusing the system. And PayPal disputes are not counted until they are escalated from a dispute to a case. Open cases without seller resolution, that is a, a 3% and 2 max. Um, basically that's closed cases without seller resolution. Uh, meaning the seller did not take care of the problem and PayPal had to reimburse the seller or reimburse the buyer. So cases closed without the seller's response or resolution, um, those found in the seller's favor or appealed successfully by the seller are not included in that number. And I've got to tell you, uh, since this has come into play, I have not had a case uh, on there that's counted. And I've had plenty of different little things that have come up, but as long as you are working with your customers and resolving things, you're good. Average detailed seller ratings of at least 4.6. Uh, you must be a power seller and you must have at least 100 transactions in 12 months. So what is changing? Well the good news is that the $3,000 annual sales requirement will be lowered to $1,000. The minimum average detailed seller rating uh, requirement of 4.6, that's going away. That's being removed. 
and power seller status will no longer be required. However, you will have to have had an active eBay account for at least 90 days and positive feedback uh, rating of at least 98%. Those are still required for, TR for TRS eligibility. So that's, that's not changing. Now, tracking must be uploaded to at least 90% or more of all completed transactions with U.S. buyers over the past three months. Let me just stop a second here. I know this is a pain point for some categories of sellers out there. So the first reaction I'm sure you're feeling is there's no way I can do this and this is going to kill my business and we're going to talk more about that in a minute. So listings from top rated sellers that offer a one day or better handling and a minimum 14 day return policy with a money back option will be eligible for the greatest exposure and the 20% final value fee discount. Now here's what eBay's doing that's really cool because they know not everybody can get those things shipped in one day and not everybody is willing to take those returns. So you can still be a top rated seller, but here's the catch. Listings from top rated sellers that do not offer a one day or better handling and a minimum 14 day return policy with a money back option will continue to get the badge and some additional exposure. You just won't get the discounts and you won't get the maximum exposure but you're still going to get better exposure than if you were not a top rated seller. So that's a good thing that they've done for us. Now when do all these changes take place? All of these updates take effect on June 1st with the exception of the tracking upload requirement which goes into effect with the June 20th evaluation cycle and that goes back to sales that began on May 1st. So that's the only tricky one. You want to be sure and get those uh, tracking numbers uploaded um, by May 1st starting then if, if that's something that you're going to go for there. Um, but here's what I recommend and a really cool incentive eBay is giving. From March 1st through May 31st eBay will give a bonus 5% additional final value fee discount on top of the 20% you already get for being a top rated seller. Um, and that is for the sellers who change to the new requirements early. Um, that is the one day handling and the 14 day money back return policy. And the one day handling is tracked by you uploading that tracking information to eBay. And if you don't know how to go in and change all those listings and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I got to go through a thousand listings and change all this, I'm going to give you a little instructional video on how to go in and use the bulk editor, which is just a really cool thing. I did all of mine. I went from 14 day up to 30 day. I'm always trying to stay ahead of the pack. So super easy and I'm going to show you how to do that. So why do you want to be a top rated seller? Let's just show you why. Top rated sellers are those that are right in line for what today's shoppers are looking for. As I said in the beginning, this is from a tremendous amount of gathered data that eBay does to see what it is the, the shoppers out there are looking for in a buying experience. It's just that easy. This is what the buyers out there want and what you're going to find Let's take away all this other stuff that, that Top Rated Seller does for you. Go back to here for a minute. Take away the discounts, take away the badge and, and the search. And all. If you are following the best practices set in place for Top Rated Seller, the biggest benefit that you are going to see is an increase in sales. And I'm sorry, that is what we are all listing this stuff on there for, or should be, is to have the stuff sell and to make a profit. That is what it's all about. And that is what these best practices are going to help you do. No matter what program is out there, let's say they took away the top rated seller program tomorrow, you would still want to follow this stuff because this is how you're going to get your stuff sold. 
So what you do get that eBay gives is that increased exposure in the eBay's best match search. You get the badge next to your name, as well as people can just sort through top rated sellers for the things that they want. And more and more buyers are realizing that these are the sellers that they want to shop from. And you do get the 20% discount on your final value fees, which if you sell any kind of quantity, that's pretty huge, pretty huge. So all in all, I think these are good changes. And follow the rest of my videos because I am going to break everything down for you on how to track how you're doing on these changes and how to change 500 listings at one time. And I'm going to get on that right now, so it won't be long till you can see those too. But everybody hang in there. It's going to be a great year for selling. Thanks for joining the Danny app.